Boom! What's going on, everybody? I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and this is Toy Talk. I want to ask you guys a question. What did the Alice Chalmers Company have in common with the fuel cell, NASA, the military, and the space program? Imagine a tractor and heavy equipment company involved in outer space. In 1901, Edward P. Alice Company, Fraser and Chalmers, Gates Ironworks, and the industrial line of the Dixon Manufacturing Company made up the first Alice Chalmers Company. This proved to be too clumsy an arrangement, so by 1912, it was reorganized as Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company. The combined companies produced manufacturing machinery. They produced equipment for agriculture, construction, power generation and transmission, along with a variety of other industrial equipment. Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company was America's first large-scale manufacturing firm. For the next 70 years, Alice Chalmers continued manufacturing products for industry. However, by the 1980s and the 1990s, a series of divestitures transformed the firm and eventually dissolved it. Its successors today are Alice Chalmers Energy and Agco. Today, I want to focus on the Alice Chalmers research and development that led to the development of the first fuel cell powered tractor. What is a fuel cell? We all know what a storage battery is. It stores electricity to be used at a future date. Fuel cells, they do the opposite. They produce electrical power directly through a chemical reaction. With that general definition of a fuel cell in mind, we must look back into the history to when the fuel cell was first thought of. As far back as 1801, a man named Sir Humphrey Davy demonstrated the principle of what later became known as the fuel cell. 1839, William Grove invented the gas battery, or the first fuel cell. 1889, Charles Langer and Ludwig Mond further developed Grove's inventions and actually gave them the name fuel cell. In the 1950s, General Electric invents the first proton exchange membrane fuel cell. 1957, with the advent of Sputnik, interest in fuel cells exploded in America, driven by the space race. 1958, Alice Chalmers developed a fuel cell that produced enough power to light two 15-watt light bulbs. And then 1959 was a pivotal year for fuel cells. 1959, Francis Bacon demonstrated a 5 kVA alkaline fuel cell. This brings us to October of 1959. This month is when Alice Chalmers demonstrated the first vehicle powered by a fuel cell. It was a farm tractor. Alice Chalmers researchers continued to pursue the development of fuel cells and began an aggressive program for the Apollo fuel cell contract. They lost out to Pratt & Whitney, unfortunately, because Pratt & Whitney had secured the rights to the Bacon Cell 9. However, this didn't stop Alice Chalmers. As Alice Chalmers continued to develop fuel cells and vehicles for NASA and the military, 1960, NASA used the first fuel cells in space missions. Also in 1960, the first fuel cell powered forklift was built by Alice Chalmers. Moving up to 2009, New Holland presents its first fuel cell powered tractor to the world, bringing the technology of the experimental Alice Chalmers tractor of 1959 back to the forefront of research and development. 2018, Toyota puts Alice Chalmers technology on the market 
with their version of a fuel cell powered forklift. Now that we've talked about the history of the fuel cell, let's talk more about the Alice Chalmers and their successful role in fuel cell development. Alice Chalmers, continuing search to develop new sources of electrical power, led to the generation of electricity using chemical reactions. By 1951, fuel cells had become of interest to the researchers at Alice Chalmers. By 1958, Alice Chalmers researchers had a successful working fuel cell capable of lighting two 15 watt light bulbs. Not a whole lot of power, but it was a start and it proved that their equipment was sound. Now they had a working fuel cell and by March of 1959, the researchers were looking to test it in something bigger. Their cell was composed of 1,008 individual fuel cells. The cells were joined up in 112 units of nine cells each. The nine cells were arranged in four banks that produced enough power to run a standard Alice Chalmers 20 horsepower DC electric motor. Next came a question, how to demonstrate the fuel cell. Harry Carl Erig, Vice President of Research at Alice Chalmers had the answer. He said, put the fuel cell in a tractor. A farm tractor would be an excellent test of the vehicle. It could prove the tractive force of the electric motor for agricultural applications and the sustainability of the fuel cell to provide the electrical energy needed to run a 20 horsepower electric motor. In October of 1959, near West Allis, Wisconsin, the fuel cell powered tractor successfully plowed a field of alfalfa with a two bottom plow. The tractor weighed 5,270 pounds and had a drawbar pull of 3,000 pounds. Specast, they made a 1 16th scale model of this revolutionary experimental Alice Chalmers tractor and they made it in a very limited run only for the 2004 Orange Spectacular Show in Hutchinson, Minnesota. This is the Alice Chalmers fuel cell tractor in 1 16th scale that Speccast made for the Orange Spectacular Show. They made this model in all resin. That way they could make such a limited run and never use the tooling again. The fuel cell tractor is a very complicated chemical reaction, but the workings of the actual tractor are very simple. Let's start off down here. Underneath the tractor, we have the gas supply tanks. There's two here, and there's two more here, and there's another tank on the back. Then we come up here on top and we get to the electrical controls and this right here is the controls that gave it power it went forward if you turned it one way it went backwards if you turn it the other way electric motors are great they don't need transmissions you just turn them on and they go and you reverse the polarity and it goes backwards very simple systems also up here we have the gas control valves and the electrical meters and the gas meters up on the dashboard. Being the experimental, there's actually more gauges than they had intended just for the researchers. And then now we turn around over here to the uh, real heart of the machine, the fuel cells. These individual pieces here are the actual fuel cells right there above these tubes. And then on top of the fuel cells, there are electrical connectors, which connect the fuel cell to the electric motor, giving it power. Also, I forgot to show it to you. We have the electric motor. This was a 20 horsepower electric DC motor that Alice Chalmers made, giving this tractor 20 horsepower. Also, you can see it up here. 
the driver would straddle it when he was sitting in the seat. Speccast also made a very nice seat and steering wheel for this tractor. Now back to the fuel cells. We have the fuel cells here and then we have the gas inlet and outlet tubes here which connect from the fuel cells to the intake and the exhaust manifolds for the gases. And then finally to get that electricity to the electric motor we have the bus bars. There's one down here and one up here. Then turning this guy to the front for an experimental they went and made actually some pretty nice decoration and they included headlights when speccast made this they put the panel on on this side so that you could see what the tractor would look like with its panels all closed up but because this is such a unique tractor and the uniqueness is under the hood they left the panel off on this side of the tractor to show off the fuel cells. Also, when we come around to this side again, we have the steering linkage, which connects all the way up to the front axle. And there it is, guys. The Alice Chalmers fuel cell tractor that was made by Speccast for the Orange Spectacular Show in all resin. It's a beautiful 1 16th scale model. Using a fuel cell to produce power was not a new idea in the 1950s. Over a century earlier, Sir William Grove originated the idea of a fuel cell that would run on hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity. Through continued research and development, fuel cells continued to become more efficient and cost-effective. Today's fuel cells have found limited commercial use in powering electric forklifts and electric pallet jacks, along with other small portable equipment. Maybe someday in the future, a fuel cell powered tractor will come on the market for agricultural use, just like the Alice Chalmers experimental tractor. In the meantime, the search for an efficient and economical fuel cell unit continues. An interesting footnote, as of 2014, Walmart currently has 535 Gen Drive fuel cell units in operation at sustainable refrigerated distribution centers, including two sites in Canada and one in the United States. In 2014, Walmart Stores Inc. began using fuel cells for powering electric lift truck fleets at six North American distribution centers. A total of 1,738 plug power fuel cells units were to be deployed over the next two years. Isn't that cool? The modern technology that's coming out today was pioneered by Alice Chalmers. And Speccast, they made that particular tractor, the Alice Chalmers fuel cell tractor, in a very limited run. And that has really raised its value. To find out other ways to raise the value of items in your collection, please grab my free report down at the link in the description below. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notified of all of my future videos. Also, please go on and share this video with your friends on your social media. Thanks for watching. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and this is Toy Talk.